Tonight, the man accused of killing 11 year old Maria Gonzalez remains in a Louisiana jail awaiting extradition back to Texas. Maria's father is speaking out for the first time since the suspect's arrest. There are also new court documents in the case. Anayeli Ruiz is live in Pasadena tonight with more. Anayeli. Well, we obtained those newly filed documents this evening and they revealed the suspect lived across the hall from the victim the entire time. A sigh of relief for Carmelo Gonzalez and his family tonight. Days after Louisiana police arrested the man accused of killing and sexually assaulting his daughter Maria. Feliz porque ya le detuvieron y ya no anda ocasionando más daños a cada familia. Melo speaking out for the first time today says he's happy 18 year old Juan Carlos Garcia Rodriguez is now behind bars and hopes he doesn't hurt another family. Charging documents revealing new details that led investigators to their suspect. They say the day Carmelo found his daughter dead, he also found a key that didn't belong to them on the floor of their apartment. Investigators saying the neighboring apartment unit had changed their locks. And when they spoke to the two men at that apartment, they said their roommate Juan Carlos Rodriguez had moved out just days after Maria's murder, and he refused to return their key. And growing nervous, they changed the locks. Investigators say that key and those old locks matched. Tonight, I spoke with their roommates. They didn't want to talk on camera, but said Juan Carlos had only lived with them for less than a month. Somebody must have been helping him because he made it to Louisiana without owning a vehicle. Now, despite an arrest, the fight for Carmelo is still not over. He's now hoping the suspect will find it in his heart to confess what he did and give them closure and that judges keep Garcia Rodriguez in jail without a bond. Now, we do know investigators collect DNA at the scene. It's unclear if that DNA ties Juan Carlos Rodriguez to the crime scene. We'll still have to wait and see the results for that. By the way, he's still in jail in Louisiana, waiting to be extradited back here to Texas. Reporting live, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News.